Hi, this is Kerry with Learn Da Vinci Resolve, and today I'm going to show you how to do a mask over 3D text with an object passing in front of it. Uh, very typical for different types of titles and things like that in TV, and um, a lot of series will do things like that to uh, go to a net, another section and have some text that's masked out. Kind of cool stuff, and uh, it's going to look just like this. Here we've got a, the car. I'll go full screen on this so we can see it. And what I've done is I've actually tracked it to the background because it wasn't completely locked down. But we can see as the car passes in front, it masks out the text. So this is going to be pretty easy to do, and we'll get right to it when we come right back. Now, this is actually a technique that I picked up from the channel Skyline Motion. I, I'm actually using the same video, but where he did it with uh, 2D text, I'm going to do it with 3D text just to show you a different way of going about it. And um, hopefully you'll find it interesting. So I'm going to take the clip here that we've got, and I'm going to drag it down onto the timeline, make sure my playhead is over it, and I'm going to go into Fusion. Now, like I said, this shot is not totally locked down. So in order for stuff to look natural, we're going to have to track it so that the text moves with the scene. If we take a look at this, notice there's some movement in the background here. Now we could probably fix that by stabilizing it, but let's just go with it because uh, you may have to run into a situation where you are trying to track with a moving object. So we're just going to go ahead and bring up the tracker and it puts our first tracking box up here and I'm just going to select a spot I think right there is going to be fine and I'm going to add another tracker on the other side and of course green on green a little hard to see but we'll go with that and we don't need much in the way of outside windows because it's not moving much and now we'll just go ahead and track forward. That should whip right through it because it's not moving much. Okay, we've got our track. That didn't take long at all. All right, now we need to start working on the text that we're going to put in. So I'm just going to go to a 3D text node. And let's just put in 3D text right here. And because this is 3D, we have to have a few other nodes here. We need our merge 3D node and we need a render node. There we go. And then that can go into the tracker. So if I drop this onto the tracker here, again, nothing happens. We've seen this before in some of the other videos. We have to go on our tracker and come up here to the operation and select match move. All right, now we're talking here and I want to bring text one into my first window so I've got my bars there and let's go ahead and extrude this go to a little depth there and on our render node we want to enable lighting and shadows now I'm not going to get into doing a shadow catcher and stuff because I have videos on that. Well, I'm, this one is just going to talk about the rotoscoping and the masking. But we have this black text here. So in order to do something with it, we need to add some light. Now I could add a spotlight or I could add a directional light. Let's just do a directional light for now. And we'll add a directional light in here. Connect that to our Merge 3D. And now we have some texture on here. So pretty simple getting the text on onto the scene. Again, I would go ahead and add some shadows to this, just make it look a little more realistic. Um, you can kind of follow the shadows of the other vehicles. They're, the sun is coming from the top right and fairly low, which is giving it these front shadows. So you could match that. But again, I have a video on doing shadow catching, so I'm not going to 
get that far into it for this video. We're going to try and make this short and sweet and get to it. But what we do need is we need to mask out the car that comes across because by default, it's going to be behind it. Well, that's definitely not what we want. So we need to mask this out. So I'm going to get rid of that for right now. And I'm going to add a polygon. And let's come up here to this vehicle and we'll just start masking this vehicle out. Now Skyline Motion did a really good job of getting this started, but there was a couple little things that I noticed on his that we're going to fix in our version of it. So we'll just go around and you want to make this clean, but if you know where your text is, then you may not need to mask everything. Like if it's too high for the bottom of this, I could have just drawn a straight line. Well, we'll just go around the tires here. Okay, and I'm not going to be super precise because I just want to kind of get you the fundamental of how this works. Okay, so now we've got our basic mask. And I'll put that back on the tracker, bring my polygon up here, and connect it to the polygon, or the, connect the polygon to the render. And you see things shifted a little bit, and that's okay. We still have the shape. So I'm going to select them all, and I'm going to go up here to Shape Box. This will allow me to just reposition it. Okay, we've got it repositioned and we got our polygon selected. I'm going to come over to invert. All right, that's really all there is to it, except that we now need to create the movement. If we play through this, the vehicle moves, but the mask doesn't. So one of the things I learned from uh, Dion was that you don't want to create a ton of keyframes. The, the less, the better. So you want to kind of, I'm starting in the middle here. I'm going to do my ends and then I'm going to start splitting the difference until I have what I want. That'll save me a ton of keyframes. So I'm just going to go back and keep selecting the shape box so I can just move it into position there. And then we'll go back a little more. There it is again. Do my shape box. All right. So from here, things are moving along. Okay. I'll just kind of right left key it here just to get it down. All right, I'll probably take this spot here, do my shape box, slide things over so it's in place. I'm not worrying about the front of it because it's already out of the scene or out from behind the text. Get my shape box. Still don't have quite enough. There we go. That should be all that I need to do. There we go. Okay, now we play this back. Ah, look what happened over here. We're, it's got that chunk out of the text and definitely blew it on that a little bit. So. I just want to back up a few frames, tighten it up. And that's what a lot of this is, is just cleaning things up until you get it good enough for what you want. It's looking pretty good. 
fix that little guy there. Okay, so now it's not touching. I'll just slide these keyframes in. I mean, not the keyframes, the uh, those spots right there. I want to be really careful here that I have it nice and tight. All right, and I'll grab my shape box again. All right, now we're good. Okay, so far so good. Except there's something not realistic about this because this window, that text should be showing through that open window. So what do we do there? We're just gonna add another polygon. And I'll connect it to the first one. And I'll just draw in here where that window's open. All right. But as the vehicle moves, right, it's going to leave it there. So same thing again. Keyframe it. I got my shape box. Grab my shape box. Now it's starting to cover his head a little bit. So I'm just gonna grab a selection of those. Grab the shape box. And do it again. Trial and error. It can be very monotonous doing a lot of keyframing, that's for sure. And now I'm going to move this off screen. Okay, and then we just need to do the other side of it. So as the vehicle keeps moving, we need to keep moving Oops. Got to grab it by the right spot. Grab our shape box again. And I hope I'm not boring you guys too much by doing it like this, but uh, this is the process and it just it just takes a while. All right. Now we'll get back and there we go. So we've got it all together here. We've got our 3D text. We've got it in the scene. We could add some lighting, some texturing to whatever we want to do to that 3D text, add shadows on the ground. Um, Again, used, I'll, I'll link to the video. I'll put a box, a card up on top here to link to the video on how to do shadow catching. So you could add some more realistic shadows to this. And this is just basic rotoscoping here. Uh, just taking a shape, animating it across the scene, and using it as a mask to either hide something or reveal something that's in the background. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found that interesting. It's going to be a technique that you can use quite a bit for different types of masks. This was a very simple one with the vehicle. If you wanted to have someone moving, it's going to take a lot more keyframes to move the polygon around to make it all fit right. But the concepts are all the same. So uh, enjoy. If you do something with it, post the video in the comments so we can all see what you've done. I'm dying to see what some of you guys are coming up with with the things that I'm showing you. So thanks for watching everybody. Like and subscribe if you so desire. Check that bell icon to get notified whenever I put out a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.